Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you can install Windows with either no internet connection in case you're unable to get on the internet or if you want to just install Windows with a local account and not have to use your Microsoft account because if you do have internet connection you'll notice that you're forced to use the uh, Microsoft account but there is actually a way to get around it so this is kind of like a dual purpose video so if you don't have internet connection already, then you'll be fine. But if you want to install Windows with a local account, you might want to maybe kill your internet connection on your computer or maybe your uh, wireless router just for the steps so it doesn't try to install it with a Microsoft account. Okay, so I went through the first part of the installation so you didn't have to watch that. So I'm just on the initial setup here. So just kind of go through the menus until we get to the part where it asks for your account information. Okay, so you can see it says there's no internet. So normally you can't go any further here until you connect to the internet so you can set up your Microsoft account. But if you press Shift F10 on your keyboard to open a command prompt, and then you type in this command here, so it's OOBE slash bypass NRO, and you press Enter, then Windows will restart. I've noticed sometimes if you type it in, press enter or do nothing, then you could just kind of backspace and type it in again, then it should work the second time. I'm not sure why it does that. Okay, so we'll continue the installation here. Okay, so now we have an option that says, I do not have internet down here. And now you could either connect, which means you have to reconnect your internet and go through the normal installation, or you could click on continue with limited setup, which is what we're gonna do. Okay, we'll just add a name here, just for the sake of adding a name. This will be for your local account. So password for your local account. Confirm the password. I'm just typing in password so there's no uh, restrictions on uh, special characters or uppercase or numbers and that type of thing. Okay, so now you have to answer some security questions, kind of like you do if you set up a local account after Windows is installed. All right, so let's just do pet's name, Rover. Where were you born? Let's say I was born in New York. Nickname, let's just say Bobby. Okay, then you get these typical options. I always like to turn off the stuff because Microsoft doesn't need to know what they don't need to know. But that's up to you. Okay, so now it's going to go through this process here. Like when you set up a new user account, when you log in the first time, it's got to get everything ready. So I'll pause the video and be back when this is done. Okay, so we have our Windows desktop here. It's a little cut off because of the resolution I'm recording at. So if you click on start, you'll notice that, you know, these icons aren't showing up because there's no uh, internet connection to get to them. And if we go to the settings, You go to accounts. See, Bob is a local account and an administrator. All right, so now I'm going to go offline here and reconnect the internet and show you what happens. Okay, so now we have internet connection. If I click on start again, you'll see everything kind of fills in there. Okay, now I'm gonna do a quick reboot now that we're back online. Okay, now you can see we're at the login screen and it's just the password for the local administrator account. All right, so there we go. So now that you're back online, if you want to add a Microsoft account 
Uh, you could do that or add any other local administrator accounts or regular accounts. You could do that as well. All right, so I will put the command in the description. So like I said, this works if you don't have uh, internet connection and you want to install Windows or you do have internet connection, but you want to install Windows with a local account. Uh, you could just kill your internet connection and then press Shift F10 and then run that command. I have not tried this, but you also might be able to leave the internet connection on. And then when you get to the point where you set up an account, try the Shift F10, see if you get to a command prompt. But you're probably better off just killing your internet connection just to make sure it works like I showed you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.